Hi there and welcome to Dino's Vault once again guys today I'm checking out the new Honda CB Shine SP125 now there's no official expansion given from Honda for the SP abbreviation but I believe it stands for sports because both design wise and performance wise this new rendition in the Shine franchise looks and feels sportier than the DX variant in fact when we look around in the 125cc segment currently here in India this bike would emerge as the best when it comes to delivering sportier performance the Shine has been a superstar in the 125cc segment and has been the reigning king here for the majority of its lifespan now with the shine sp honda is trying to offer best in class looks performance and economy apart from the bulletproof reliability that comes as standard with all honda motorcycles now let's start out the review by checking out the differences between the shine sp and the shine dx first of all the design is all new the new design especially in this blue color looks absolutely stunning we get an all new headlamp design that is bigger sharper and the blackened visor gives it a nice and striking front end look coming to the profile the fuel tank is now more sculpted and more muscular than before we get new side panels that resemble that of the unicorn 160 the rear panels are now sleeker and resemble that of the levo the exhaust is all new with chrome garnish on the heat plate the five split spoke alloy wheels look absolutely stunning we also get red colored rear suspension springs now when compared to that of the dx model at the back the tail lamp is also completely new and resembles that of the levo to some extent talking about the switch gear we do get a high beam flasher but we still don't get an engine kill switch which is slightly disappointing the instrument console is all new as well we get an analog speedometer whereas the digital display carries the odometer trip meter and the fuel gauge talking about the engine specs or the differences in the engine specs surprisingly the engine specs remain unchanged on paper for both the bikes we do get a 5-speed gearbox now as opposed to a 4-speed one on the DX and with this Honda claim better performance at higher speeds. Dimensions wise, length of this bike is down by 5mm when compared to that of the DX. Height is down by 5mm. Wheelbase remains the same for both the bikes. Ground clearance is up by 3mm when compared to the DX and weight of this bike too is up by 1kg. Just like the DX, this bike too gets Honda's patented CBS or combi brake system. How this actually works is when you apply the rear brake, the front brake is also engaged automatically. This increases deceleration significantly and promises safer, better and more secure braking performance. Now powering the Shine SP is an air-cooled 4-stroke 124.73cc engine that puts out a maximum power of 10.57 bhp at 7500 rpm and 10.3 Nm of torque at 5500 rpm and this engine comes made it to a 5-speed gearbox. Talking about my test ride experience, though the engine specs remain relatively the same on paper, the difference in the bike's character is quite apparent once you start riding this bike. The bike is more sporty. The throttle response is nice and crisp the clutch is now even lighter compared to that of the dx the gearbox didn't feel as smooth as that of the dx the bike itself feels as if it's in a hurry to get going the bike relaxes once we reach the top gear and though i didn't push the bike all that much because it's a brand new one i get a feeling that this bike has a better mid-range and top end performance on offer when compared to that of the dx Talking about the brakes, the bike is available in three variants. Uh, first, we have the drum brake variant, then we have the front disc brake variant, and then we have a CBS variant. Uh, for the drum brake variant, we get uh, 130 mm uh, drum brakes up front and at the rear. For the disc brake and the CBS variant, we get a 240 mm disc up front and a 130 mm drum brake at the rear. Talking about the suspension setup, we get telescopic forks up front and spring loaded hydraulic suspension at the rear. The suspension is on the stiffer side to offer sportier performance. Talking about the wheels and tires we get 18 inch wheels and 80 by 100 front and rear tires the tires are tubeless ground clearance is 160 millimeters fuel tank capacity is 10.5 liters apart from this we also get the viscous air filter which offers longer life and doesn't require cleaning at regular intervals mileage claim for this bike from honda is 65 kmpl but i believe we can expect around 55 to 60 kmpl from this bike based on how you ride it Extracting best mileage uh, always depends on the way we ride. So I recommend that you go through my mileage tips link mentioned in the description portion below. I'm sure you'll find lots of useful info there. Talking about the colors, we get uh, we have uh, five colors to choose from. I have covered three of them. I've covered the blue, gray and black uh, variants here. Apart from these three, we get the white and red colors as well. Talking about the price X showroom Hyderabad, the new Shine SP model is uh, dearer by nearly 3000 rupees when compared to the DX model. 
the drum brake variant costs 61,433 rupees here in Hyderabad. The disc brake variant is priced at 63,933 rupees, whereas the CBS variant is priced at 65,933 rupees. So that's pretty much it. I just hope you found this video useful. Until next time, this is Dino saying ciao. Take care, God bless, and ride safe.